This is one of the slot canyons in uh, the Colorado Plateau region of the southwestern U.S. Uh, this specific slot canyon is called Blarney Canyon. And we just rappelled down, well, some of us down climbed about 30 feet down that slot there. Uh, but I thought we'd do a quick video here to show uh, it's just the amazing landscapes you sometimes see uh, in these slot canyons, these narrow, skinny, uh, crevasses just slice through uh, the sandstone. These, these uh, walls are the Navajo sandstone. This is the Jurassic Age sandstone that forms some of the big impressive cliffs around uh, Zion National Park, um, arches, some of those sorts of places. And slot canyons have a pretty interesting uh, recipe that has to be met for them to form. Uh, we'll kind of walk down here until it gets more technical and kind of talk about that a little bit. And so for a slot canyon to form, uh, you need to have homogeneous rock, meaning the rock is pretty much the same throughout. And these sandstones are incredibly uniform grained. All the grains of sand are about the same size. Um, um, and then you need to have the right climate. And so the climate down here is <clears throat> one in which monsoons in the late summer and early fall dominate. So you get these heavy, afternoon thunderstorms that uh, dump a lot of rain in a short span of time over a small area and the the gradient the slope in this desert climate where there's not a lot of vegetation is enough that it channelizes that water and is able to cut downward very effectively and very quickly and by cutting downward through this rock that's all the same uh, material it's able to make kind of like a a slice through the butter. If this rock had had some hard layers and some soft layers and some hard layers, then it would have more of an open look to it. It would have uh, some ledges and some open sections in the canyon. Uh, but the Navajo sandstone uh, is one of the premier units in the Colorado Plateau for forming slot canyons. And what you end up with are chalk stones, like the one we see here, uh, boulders that roll down into the canyon during the flash floods, and then get wedged uh, in the floor of the canyon. And then these form obstacles. So this one's pretty small, looks like it's easy to down climb and hop down. But in other places, these chalk stones can be, you know, tens of feet above the floor. And so we have to set up a rappel, use ropes to get down safely. Uh, I'll see if I can keep filming while I kind of scurry down this one here. I can kind of just use your butt and some chimney technique to drop down. Uh, but one of the cool things about the slot canyons is just, you know, you just don't know what's around the next corner. You don't know what obstacles uh, there's going to be. Not sure exactly what it's gonna throw you, um, but not the place to be in a flash flood. So definitely make sure that you've got a good reliable weather forecast. Um, and you know that the canyon is gonna be dry while you're hiking in it. Uh, I guess the last thing we could show here is uh, in the Navajo sandstone it's characterized by these uh, really amazing cross beds we're kind of getting out into a, a sunny spot here and so there's places where these ancient sand dunes show us a little bit here's a nice spot here where you can actually see some of the beds uh, cutting across let's see if we can find a little better spot a little further down and the lighting it's a little brighter, so it's not great. Here's more of a shady spot. Here's a great spot right here. <clears throat> um, we can see that the layers of sand come down, but then they actually uh, get lower angle and then merge with this larger uh, bedding surface here. So what these are, this is the backside of a sand dune where the sand is moved up to the top of the dune. And as it cascades down the backside and tumbles, each layer of sand is preserved uh, once it turns into rock. And these are these things called cross beds. And so you can really see some, some exceptional ones here in the rock layer. And the cross beds actually help us as geologists because it tells us a little bit about which way the wind was blowing at the time these rocks uh, were forming and these deposits were accumulating uh, during the Jurassic. So in the Jurassic, we had this huge expanse of sand that went from nearly the Mexico border all the way towards Canada throughout the interior west through uh, parts of eastern Idaho, Wyoming, um, Utah, down into Arizona, a little bit of Nevada, that sort of thing. So really exceptional landscape here. I'm going to shut the video down because there's some more obstacles to, to work through here. So 
the uh, amazing slot canyons of the Colorado Plateau.